have taken a look and want to focus a lot more on, yes, what's possible to localize quickly, but also the longer term things. So we're developing innovative solutions around that to make sure that the more technical and difficult things, and usually actually also the more valuable items in that value chain uh, can be produced locally. You can just accommodate a manufacturer, um, but we've taken a view to get involved in more R&D type of activities, and that's why the Science and Technology Park was formed. How we plan to do this as a Science and Technology Park is really creating an, an, an enabling environment. This an enabling environment talks to research and development that could actually assist companies that are within the zone, companies that are within our um, region as the Eastern Cape, as well as um, South Africa as a whole, to create those new product manufacturing companies within our zone from um, homegrown technologies that are, that are coming out of the um, research um, institutions. Um, the second part is um, the part where we look at transfer offices to ensure that we are creating those high knowledge based companies that would ensure that we we create a catalytic effect basically in our economic in, in our economy which would ensure that that a knowledge economy is created which is based on high tech um, um, high tech um, manufacturing companies that are that are very research focused and ensuring that they're basically moving moving um, forward in this dynamic um, environment that we are living in. So what we do is um, we really facilitate um, 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 assistance um, through uh, business development opportunities, finance opportunities through um, funders. We, we go out there and we look at funding opportunities because um, we are aware that um, different funders fund at different um, 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 spaces or rather different stages of product or prototype development. So we look at that and then we assist our um, community virtual and also um, tenants within our, our space. And we also ensure that through the linkages that we have with our institutions of higher learning, research is coming into and assisting our companies to further um, 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 to further um, grow or um, um, facilitate growth of their products or success of their products and as well as um, research to ensure that we're assisting the companies that are within the RTZ as well to ensure that they are actually growing um, and, and, in, and becoming more innovative to ensure that they are creating a, a, a knowledge economy because that's, where, that's the only way to, 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 to leapfrog basically our, our, our country as a whole is by actually um, learning to do what the other countries that are successful have done and have managed to actually become first world countries. Within a knowledge based um, economy, we've got new technologies um, that are actually becoming um, companies. Um, they are, the the knowledge-based economies are based on those economies that ensure that new technologies are actually accelerated to a point where they become manufactured products which um, have got high margins um, because they are the first on the market and then they require that skilled people are working with those products. So um, we are on our way to actually creating that through the science and technology park offering that we have.